let's talk a bit about, about Tarantino, um, since with Reservoir Dogs, again, another um, you know, filmmaker who was unknown at the time, you went so far as to actually help him get the film made by coming on board as a co-producer. What, yeah. what, what was it about the script that made you want to do that? Well, uh, everyone should know that uh, Quentin had not, had, when I met him, had never directed a frame of film in his life. He worked in a, a video store. And uh, his screenplay was given to me by a colleague of mine, a woman from the actor's studio, who called me one day and said, Harvey, I have this screenplay I think you might like. She had known the producer, and the producer had asked her if she could get me the screenplay, which she did. I can't remember her name right now, I'm sorry to say. And um, I read the screenplay, and it was just one of the most unusual scripts. We're talking about Reservoir Dogs. Um, just his writing alone was just something out of the ordinary. And it just moved me in a certain way, like, you know, when you move, when you have a revelation seeing a piece of art somewhere, you just, you know, your head sort of shifts. You know, what, what, is it? what is this? And that's how we first met. And then we met in Los Angeles. Someone got us together, and uh, my doorbell rings. I was doing a movie there at that time. I always lived in New York. The door opens and there's this big guy standing in the doorway. He says, Harvey Keitel? I said, Keitel, come in. <laughs> and uh, to this day he calls me Harvey Keitel. And um, there he was, very hungry because he had not much money to eat. <laughs> so I opened up my refrigerator to him. Uh, two or three times, then I stopped opening it for him. <laughs> it's the truth. I was, uh, a friend of mine was visiting from me from New York, a great actor named Vic, Vic, Vic Argo, who has passed away. And um, uh, we learned one day that when Quentin comes over, we have to take the good food and hide it and give him the junk, because he'd eat everything in the refrigerator. Really, he didn't have any money at that time. Either. 